Now, Way 31 Storm Tracker meteorologist Grace Anello with 31 Triple Doppler. When that rocket launches, I wish it'd take some of this rain with it. <laughs> Just swoop it up and send it into outer space. Is that possible? <laughs> you know, not that I know, but let me look back at my Thermo 2 books and we'll see if we we'll can get We'll see what we can come up with. You know, we might be winning some awards. Exactly. <laughs> now, today is the first day of summer, but we are not feeling anything no, like summer. And we won't for a few more days no. down the line. Right now, it is all rain that's dominating the conversation on 31 Triple Doppler. 1118 this morning, the heaviest of that rain we're seeing, shooting a line between Morgan and Cole. County and then especially in northeastern limestone heading into Madison County. So we even can hear some rain on our roof on and off in spurts and that's going to be the trend all day today. Not all of us will see rain all day, but those brief periods of very heavy downpours and gusty wind that is in the forecast for each one of us. Take a look at the way 31 sky camera network powered by Thompson roofing and construction. Some incredible views, especially off of our Calhoun Community College camera. I mean, look at that. Absolutely beautiful as we're watching these stories clouds roll in, but the one thing they're doing is blocking that sunshine from us, keeping our temperatures in the mid 70s at the moment and well below average. The other thing that's helping us to feel a little bit cooler today is that gusty breeze. Now these are our wind gusts, not our sustained winds, but many of us will sit in the 20s throughout the day today, meaning it's easy and breezy out there. Now, of course, we're feeling quite muggy with all this moisture in the air, but at least that breeze should help us out just a touch. As we head through the rest of the afternoon, our high temperature will sit in the low 70s, which is a solid 10 or 11 degrees below average. We'll keep that cloud cover and those chances for rain with us all throughout the afternoon and even into the evening. We'll start to see a little bit of clearing when the sun sets, but we won't be completely rain free until tomorrow evening. All right, let's walk through exactly what you can expect. This puts us at 1230. So if you are headed out and about for lunch, had an extra minute or two for your commute back to work because we could have some soggy roadways. We'll continue to see showers and storms because coming heavier in fact in Sand Mountain as we get closer to the end of the business day. This will continue to track west, bringing torrential downpours and gusty winds to the area and staying with us through dinner time. Now, like we talked about after sunset, we'll see a lot of that get out of our system, but we're still going to keep rain and the possibility for a thunderstorm or two in Sand Mountain all throughout the night. And that leads us into first thing on Thursday, where we're still expecting some scattered showers and storms. But the silver lining is we're trending much drier than we were just days ago. It's no longer looking like a washout on Thursday, but you will still need your umbrella with you. A touch of rain on Friday. We're dry on Saturday and throughout the day on Sunday until Sunday night, as I'm tracking more storms coming into the forecast first thing on Monday. So let's get you a little weekend preview, show you what you can expect. We'll start early on Thursday morning with that leftover rain in Sand Mountain again becoming strong with that diurnal heating or daytime heating when the sun rises first thing in the morning and we'll continue to keep those scattered showers and storms. You can tell we're not completely dry, but it is absolutely not the washout that it was originally looking like thanks to a low pressure system moving a little bit farther out of our way than was originally expected. What we will keep is the cloud cover with us throughout the day on Thursday and then it's only a drizzle that's expected on Friday. Take a look at your weekend Saturday and Sunday. We're finally starting to feel like summer Nine degrees on Saturday, 92 on Sunday for your high temperature will be warm and a touch muggy, but we'll have plenty of sunshine overhead. However, Sunday night into first thing on Monday, that's when we're going to see those storms. Now, this system is not presently severe, but it is something that we're monitoring for. So I'm going to need you to check back in with us several times throughout the week and even throughout this weekend as well. So you can get the most updated look at future radar and know exactly what's coming to your area on 31 triple Doppler. More sunshine next week for the work week, so that certainly is a plus. Yeah, this, this rain is just kind of like a little briar patch before the picnic. Right? Exactly, because we are looking forward to that. The it sunshine, the hot temperatures, yes. You know